Hello, welcome to more Let's Play Hat in Time. And in this, uh, we are finally going to open up this 14 timepiece gate that's been sitting here for the longest time. Power has been restored in the basement. The chapter, Alpine Skyline, is now available. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh. This place, uh, looks like it has seen better days. It's like the garden or something. Oh, okay, no. This is definitely not the garden. I don't remember what this is. Hmm. Oh, but there appears to be a door over here as well. And we need to see beyond sight. Or we need sight beyond sight, is what I want to say. I just messed up that line. And you get... Oh, another blue rift in here, and... A 20... timepiece gate. Power's been stored in the storage room. The chapter Nakia's uh, Metro is now available. Oh, so that's where Nakia's Metro is. Okay, well, we're not doing that, because that's DLC. <laughs> But it looks like we have another uh, relic. What was it called? A pla platform? No. Pedestal. There we go. So you can make anything with this. There we go. It's a match. You identified a relic from the strange planet. And that gives us a purple time rift in Alpine Skyline. Try color graffiti kits. These were made for vandalism. Definitely. Even I feel compelled to take these and draw on everything. I can only conclude that this vandalism toolkit it must be illegal. That makes this relic rare. If only the package hadn't been opened, only a monster could have opened the package of a rare item. Alright, so, before we do Alpine Skyline, we're going to take care of this blue type route. The lab. Alright, so I'm expecting that. Also, don't know if the attack, uh, the ground pound, just doesn't do that, or doesn't actually function as an attack, or if I just transformed out of it too soon. <laughs> that didn't answer my question either. Whatever. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Game like froze for me for a second there. I think I might have done that for you too. Birds are very annoying. <laughs> to be fair, they are pretty smart. Why let. <laughs> Why engage directly? We can just throw them off a cliff. I think it's how Soul Calibur works. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> That's a shame. Does it start from the beginning again? Yes, it does. Okay. Which you guys. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> Here's a time piece. I think that red is actually a very rare uh, hat flare. Let's see if we actually get it. Nope, just got this one. Doorbass is getting a lot of stuff today, or this week. And now it's showing off the 25 door. Wait, why am I? What? Why am I here? That's weird. <laughs> oh, right, because that's the last place I was. As soon as I thought I went into Alpine Skyline. Good. So next up, we are going to go yeah. over here and probably begin Alpine's Skyline and fall, I guess. Hey. Is this is here? Okay, well, probably not for anything important. Huh. Alright, so Alpine Skyline. How many times can I see that? Let's find out. I have a time rift here. What would you like? What would you look at this? What makes Alpine Skyline so special is that we have free reign of the entire area. No missions. Well, ex not exactly any missions. We just wander around and find them. I suppose in that way, it's sort of like, unlike uh, the uh, three Mario games, it's more like Banjo and Kazooie, where you just find uh, random quests to do at your own leisure. Or random events to do at your own leisure, and they get, you get rewards for them. The only difference is that you. I think you still do get warped out in the end.
ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Alpine Skyline. Have you noticed those bright flashing lights in the sky? They started appearing recently after some weird hourglasses fell from the sky. I wonder what they could be. In any case, I really wish they wouldn't be so bright. They're blinding! So like I said earlier, we have free reign of the area, so we can choose to go wherever we want and get whatever timepieces we want. This is this is kind of been seen in like a couple of the other areas, but in this one it's especially clear that that's what's going on. Nothing's locked out. There are no well, for the time stop yarn, death's inevitable. Your time is valuable. But uh, aside from that. Uh, there's no, like, specific events that keep you from being anywhere. You can literally go from the start. You can go anywhere you want and find whatever you want as well. That being said, they are still separated into separate areas. So you can go off to anywhere you want and you'll find a timepiece in all, I want to say, four areas around here. I think I'll start with, well, somewhere, anyway. <laughs> but, right, so we got time slot yarn a second ago, which we do have enough to stitch because we have tons of yarn. 42. We're gonna have tons of yarn once we make this, though. The time stop hat. Press left trigger to slow down time. This one has a very long cooldown. This is actually a hat I totally forgot was actually in the game. So I have no idea what its uses... I don't remember fully what its uses are. I think we'll... But let's just choose the direction and go. So I'm gonna say Twilight Bell. Well, I say Twilight Bell, I just end up going wherever I end up coming across first. Oh. I always notice that the magnet isn't on. Actually, there's something up there, too. Or time stop yarn. You've cleared Goat Village. So, you're going to be getting that uh, pop-up whenever uh, you did the main objective of the area. No timepiece here, though. Why don't we blow the horns ourselves? Up this high, the air is really thin. It's hard for us to take deep enough breaths. It doesn't seem to bother you, though. And with that, now we can go wherever we want to find timepieces. It looks like there are five areas. I guess I'll start with this red one down here. It seems to be a volcano. Yeah. I guess I'll swing back and forth on these ropes. It's not too necessary to do yet. Especially if we have, uh. <laughs> just if we have the magnet. Magnet badge on. And here we are, sizzling lava split. I 
can use these binoculars to see far away. Can't zoom in, though, it looks like. Let's go right then. Oh, we all see there's a treasure here. I think, uh, star over there, I I didn't notice it when uh, the person was talking about it earlier. I think that light tells you where the timepieces are. So in that case, it is kind of like Super Mario Galaxy again. <laughs> okay, throwing me off this time. Yeah, that's definitely a tiny piece up there. Can't pull in there. I don't know why you would if it's smoking, but, you know. <laughs> Option's not there if you want it. To these houses? No. Saw that light. I was trying to see what it was. Oh, I guess I'm falling. Trying to see what it was, but I can't quite look down at it. Okay, that's all. It's just a beacon that tells you where uh, the area starts. Let's head over to the lava cake and grab the timepiece at the top. I'm sure it tastes spicy. Looks like we're going to have to go into the cake to get to the top of it. I see these guys can't be jumped on. Ouch. Ouch, again. Just trying to jump on top of it. <clears throat> that wasn't inherently on fire like the birds were. <clears throat> Oop! That's a shame. 
Speaking of Galaxy, though, from earlier, this place kind of reminds me of Melty Molten Galaxy, actually. Especially the lava. Indeed. Oh, I think we missed that guard. Yeah, we did. Where's this lead? Can we diverge again? Oh no. Retreat! Wait to lose me. Not a one for quitting. this? A Rift Token. I think that's... Is that it, actually? I wonder. I guess an easy way to check. I'm gonna try not to do this too often. Like, during these... Also, because it might be rather uh, misleading, considering that this entire area is open. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. on that one. They can decide on the Snatcher token, which is even relevant to what's going on right now. Oh, that was an impressive save. Considering that this is the fourth area, and it was also the originally the last area of the game. That Yakuza Metro wasn't in the game before. Uh wasn't in the base game. So this is like gonna really put your skills to the test a lot of the time. I just hopped clean over that. Let's go. Yeah. Nope, we're almost at the top. Oh, don't jump on that. That'll be bad. I guess here we can just use a time stop hat to save these platforms, give us more time on these platforms. Do I want the yarn? I do want the yarn. <laughs> I 
That's power of fast hat frenzy. That's not what it's called. <laughs> fast hat or patch. Then we just hop over here and grab the timepiece. You've cleared the lava cake. Oh, okay, it does take you back here. So I guess it is more similar to Banjo Kazooie than I thought. So you don't go back to your you don't go back to the ship unless you willingly really choose to. And you just freely explore as you see fit. Anywhere you see that looks interesting, you go there. See what you can find, then you end up back here once you find a timepiece. Not everything I sell is a Okay, you still that just Anyway. So I think we'll wrap it up there. Now that you've reached Alpine Skyline and gotten our first timepiece there. We will continue our investigation or just exploration of uh, this place. And find more timepieces and more stuff. I mean, just around. <laughs> Probably more ways to actually find more as well. This is like the jankiest outro I've ever made. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time.